Hello lovely viewers, you are most welcome to our channel Poetry Online. In this lesson, we shall be discussing the simple tricks to passing comprehension questions. Kindly subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get updates on all our new videos. Once again, let us assure you of a very interesting discussion. Get ready for this lesson. Comprehension simply means understanding a written text and extracting the information from the text as effectively as possible. When we consider this definition, one thing that is significant is the use of the words extracting information and effectively as possible. These words are used because understanding the passage halfway is very dangerous and disastrous. Have you ever wondered why people always misquote others? Or how pieces of information get distorted by the time it reaches two to three people? Well, all the distortion of the information happens because comprehension was not effectively done. Do you know that there are different kinds of comprehension questions candidates are required to write on? If you do, write them down. Did you write factual questions, inferential questions, speculative questions, and appreciative questions? If you did, great job! We will discuss each of them one after the other, starting with factual questions. Factual questions are the type of questions every candidate loves because they are very simple to answer. This type of questions does not need thinking or reading between lines before you can answer them. Factual questions explore the surface meaning of the passage. Read this sentence and answer the question that follows. In 1972, when she was 20 years, Alice lived in London with a newly wedded husband. The question again, in 1972, when she was 20 years, Alice lived in London with her newly wedded husband. Examples of factual questions include 1. Which year did Alice live in London? 2. Who was she living with in London? Of course, the answer to question 1 is, she lived in London in the year 1972. She lived in London in the year 1972. And that of question number 2 is, she lived in London with her husband. The answer again, she lived in London with her husband. Simple, isn't it? We didn't have to think or read between lines before answering these questions. But that is not all. You can still score them wrong if you present the correct answer in the wrong way. Answers like 1972 and her husband will be marked wrong since they do not make a complete sentence and hence does not express a complete thought. Let's now shift our attention to inferential questions. These are questions almost every candidate score low marks or fail entirely because you have to read between the lines before answering the questions. Inferential questions require candidates to process the information given to them in a single sentence or two or more sentences. In other words, you have to read between lines before you can answer them. Therefore, candidates hate and fear them. However, by the end of this lesson, we will dispel that fear and make it simple for you to understand. Let us use this text to illustrate our point. I remember the pain of my first dance, something that is always meant to be a joyful occasion for a girl. There was a fashion at the time 
for big pearl earrings. I wore this type of earrings very often, practicing for the big night. I wore them so often that I got two big sores on my ears, so I had to put adhesive plaster on them. The big night came. I went to the dance. There, I sat for 4 hours 43 minutes. Eventually, I went home and told my brothers and sisters that I had a wonderful time. I danced until my feet were sore. The text again. I remember the pain of my first dance, something that is always meant to be a wonderful occasion for a girl. There was a fashion at that time for big pearl earrings. I wore this type of earrings very often, practicing for the big nights. I wore them so often that I got two big sores on my ears. So I had to put a hasty plaster on them. The big night came and I went to the dance. There, I sat for 4 hours, 43 minutes. Eventually, I went home and told my brothers and sisters that I had a wonderful time. I danced until my feet were sore. Example of inferential question is 1. Why did the girl describe her first dance as painful? Mm -hmm. Why did the girl describe her first dance as painful? Difficult, isn't it? But the answer is right in front of you. Let's consider these sentences carefully since they will help us to discover the answer to that question. I got two big sores on my ears, so I had to put a healthy plaster on them. There, I sat for 4 hours, 43 minutes. From these sentences, we can deduce that the plaster she put on her ears put the men off her, so no man invited her to dance with her. Remember, the text is talking about a dance that the speaker attended. However, when she got there, instead of dancing, she sat there the whole time. Was it stated in the text that men refused to dance with her? The answer is certainly no. But we can deduce that from the information that the passage has provided. Next is the speculative questions. Here, candidates are required to make intelligent guesses based on the information in the text. It requires the processing of the information provided in two or more sentences without going outside the text. Let's use this text below to illustrate this. A man and his son were traveling to Accra on a Saturday morning. They had an accident as a result of excessive speeding and were rushed to the hospital for immediate treatment. Upon reaching the hospital, a senior doctor on duty was called to attend to the man and his son. Upon reaching the scene, the doctor screamed, This is my son. Every other person there became confused. How the boy can be the son of the doctor? The text again. A man and his son were traveling to Accra on a Saturday morning. They had an accident as a result of excessive speeding and were rushed to the hospital for immediate treatment. Upon reaching the hospital, a senior doctor on duty was called to attend to the man and his son. Upon reaching the scene, the doctor screamed, This is my son. Every other person there became confused. How the boy can be the son of the doctor? Example of speculative question. Why did the doctor refer to the boy as my son? Well, the doctor referred to the boy as my son because the doctor is the mother of the boy.
Well done. We have made an intelligent guess without going out of the text. The next type of question candidates are often asked is the appreciative question. This type of question requires candidates to do the following. 1. Identify the mood of the writer. Whether the writer is angry, sad, happy, or indifferent. 2. Identify the writer's attitude to his or her subject of discussion. 3. Identify literal devices or figure of speech in the text. Let's now shift our attention to how to answer comprehension questions. Before you can correctly answer any comprehension question, there are some tips you need to follow. Tip number one, identify your strengths. Which of this one works for you better? Do you answer the questions correctly when you read the text before reading the questions? Or you answer the questions better when you read the questions before reading the passage? Discover your strengths and use it to your advantage. However, reading the question before going to read the passage will guide your reading of the passage and give you a sense of direction as you will concentrate on the relevant information in the text. Tip number two, read the passage. Begin by first scanning through the passage quickly picking out only important phrases and words. This when done will give you an idea as to what the text is about. Proceed to read the questions again. However, you are not expected to start answering the questions at this stage since you roughly know which lines will give you the required answer. Read the passage again, this time in a slow manner, underlying all relevant information and ideas needed to answer the question. Focus on the key words of the question rather than trying to understand every word in the passage. Once you underline the relevant information, it's now time to present your answers. Always remember that the correct answer when presented in the wrong way will be marked wrong. Therefore, there is a need for you to present the correct answers correctly. In presenting your answers, the following must be observed. 1. Try to link the question to your answers and make sure they make sense together. Example, how old is Mansa? Mansa is 10 years old. 10. How old is Mansa? Mansa is 10 years old. How old is Mansa? Mansa is 10. The candidate who presents 10 as an answer will either score a low mark or will be awarded zero since the answer does not make sense with the question when linked together. 2. Never provide opinion as answers to the questions. Always base your answers on the facts provided by the text. You can only provide opinions when the question instructs you to do so. 3. Never under any circumstance move from the original text provided to you to provide answers not found in the passage. For example, technology is the cornerstone upon which the world thrives. Man has achieved some level of perfection, pleasure, improved communication, and health. What are the benefits of technology to mankind? Candidates who provide answers other than what the text has provided will be marked wrong even if the answer is correct. 4. Do not jump into conclusions when answering comprehension questions. Doing so only proves to the examiner you haven't fully understood the meaning of the passage 
and the questions. Five, do not present phrases as answers. Always present complete sentences. Six, do not provide more than the required answers or less than the required number of answers. Seven, do not copy answers word for word from the passage or your answer will be marked wrong. Eight, answers must be concise and brief. Nine, present the meaning of words or expressions according to the context in which they are used in the passage and not according to their dictionary meaning. 10. Bad grammar, spelling mistakes, and wrong tenses are not allowed in comprehension tests. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video.